ending. Well, a warm weekend coincided with a big increase in shootings and murders in Chicago. 46 people were shot in our city. WGN's Sean Lewis live at police headquarters where once again top brass are being asked to explain the surge in violence. Sean. Yeah, Ben, and you won't be getting a lot of answers out of them, at least when it comes to this last weekend. On Saturday morning after the April crime stats were released, CPD did have its hands full with a surge in violence for the beginning of May. The warm weekend weather brought with it a flurry of violence. Across Chicago, gunfire and knife attacks cut short the lives of at least seven people and injured at least another 46. One of the latest near the United Center at Adams and Seeley. Chicago police working into the early morning hours on Monday. Five people, all between 20 and 32 years old, were shot as they stood outside. One of them rushed to the hospital in critical condition. This shooting happened just after 11 p.m. Sunday. Police believe the gunshots came from a gray Audi SUV with three people inside. On Sunday afternoon, just before 3 o'clock, two men were shot here in the 800 block of North Ridgeway. A 40-year-old man survived, but the 34-year-old man was pronounced dead at Mount Sinai Hospital. That shooting, about the same time and less than two miles from where a 17-year-old boy was shot in the face and killed as he drove in the 4800 block of West Ferdinand. And early Saturday morning, a 35-year-old man was found stabbed in the neck and chest here in the 2600 block of South Christiana. While Area 4 detectives are investigating, no one is yet in custody. There was another uh, stabbing that happened just yesterday morning in the 2900 block of West Harrison. This time, though, Chicago police patrolmen uh, on the scene there within a moment uh, chasing down one suspect, getting him into custody. Unfortunately, the other man was pronounced dead at the hospital. Charges against that other person are pending. We are live at CPD headquarters. Sean Lewis, WGN News. Thank All right, you. Sean. Thank you.